what's good it's your boy jls15 ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to another episode of wwe 2k17 my career featuring the sin city saint johnny graves we are at smackdown on tuesday night following the big battleground pay-per-view where johnny graves defeated john cena in a five-star match that was it did justice to the name battleground because it was an absolute war between the two men johnny graves came out on top with the help of alexis bliss alexa bliss excuse me and uh won the rivalry so we are now no longer involved in a rivalry with john cena finally after three months we are finally no longer in a rivalry with john cena here we are in st louis missouri for smackdown live and johnny graves is going to open the show against baron blade baron blade Baron. We have one of our breakout talents. Blade. I don't know why his name is so books. hard for me this to say. Is gonna be good. It's, I think it's a double B thing. Just it's it's weird for me. I'm not not a fan. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, man. Kind of. I lost my train of thought. Um, the man that defeated John Cena, the man that proved John Cena is no longer the franchise. He's no longer Super Cena. He's no longer Big Match John. Johnny Graves has exposed John Cena and proven that there are some chinks in the armor of John Cena. I feel like the WWE, I feel like the authority should probably reward Graves a little bit more than putting him in a match against Baron Blade, but whatever. If Baron Blade wants to get his booty whooped again, Baron Blade can get his booty whooped again. Graves does not care. He will take on all comers, regardless of how many times he fights them. Here we see B Blade. We're not going to watch his entrance because it's B Blade and no one cares about B Blade. With his lime green trunks and his lime green tape on his fists. And he catches the forearm to the face to start the match off. You should watch him tape. Johnny starts his matches off that way a lot. But Blade, oh, nice elbow to the back of the head. Misses the double axe handle. Big right hand from Johnny. Johnny now. Oh, nice suplex. Johnny out here trying to prove that... That win against John Cena at Battleground was just the beginning as he hits Blade with a back suplex and then kips up, showing the athleticism and taunting just in Blade with a big right hand. Graves probably probably shouldn't have been celebrating at that moment in time as now Baron Blade takes him to the floor. What's Alexa doing? What's a, you gotta watch out for Alexa at all times, man. She's proven already she is not afraid to get involved in in matchups to help help Graves out. Graves sends Baron Blade into the into the barricade and then suplexes him onto the floor. Watch out, Alexa. You don't want to accidentally catch a boot to the face. And Alexa pulling Blade up to his feet. What's she doing? I thought she was gonna hit him in the face or something. She was just okay. I guess she was just helping. She was just helping out. Oh, Enziguri from Graves and Blade down. Irish whipping blade into the corner. Big forearm to the small of the back. And we've seen this before. Driving him into the barricade, rolling through. German suplex. Dropping blade right on the back of the head and then quickly getting him back to his feet. Again, sending him into the corner. This time, blade with a back elbow. But Johnny reverses with a nice right hand. Again, sending blade into the corner. Not sure what Johnny has in mind here. Not, not really sure what he's trying to do. Nothing, I guess. Again, the elbow from Blade. Applying the front face lock. Lifting Graves up. Oh, nice reversal from Graves. Kneeing him in the face. And here we go. Here we go. Curb stomp. And Johnny taking a moment to taunt the crowd. Taunt Blade. Let him know. Yo, I don't sweat Baron Blade. Baron Blade is not somebody 
that I'm concerned with. You just knew a match of this caliber was going to spin out on the, the floor ring, eventually. Baron I mean, when you well, Johnny again leaving the together, ring, playing some, playing some mind games with Blade here. Going on here. What's he doing now, Johnny? Going He's under the ring and getting long. himself a sledgehammer. Alexa up on the apron, distracting the referee, and Graves drives the sledgehammer into the stomach of Blade. Johnny leaving the ring again. What's he got? Oh, Blade dropping Graves to the floor, sending him into the barricade, it looked like. Now Blade stomping away, dropping the elbow. Got to give Blade credit, I guess. I mean, oh. Nice leg whip from Johnny sending Blade to the floor. Damage. But I was going to say, you got to give Blade credit, man. He took that sledgehammer to the... What? What was that? Took that sledgehammer to the stomach and continued to fight back. He's starting to stop Blade here. sending Graves into the, in the barricade and then dropping him to the, to the floor. Blade back into the ring. Referees counts up to seven. Johnny trying to get back in the ring finally does and a big kick from Blade. Pulling Johnny to his feet. Nice belly to belly suplex from, from Blade showing that he's got some, got some power. Blade's got some explosive power, man. Johnny getting back to his feet slowly as Blade measures him. Slingshot cross body, but Johnny manages to roll away from those stomps. Again, Blade sending Johnny to the apron, charging it again. That shoulder tackle taking Johnny to the floor. Careful what you wish for. It can get real ugly outside the ring. And Blade, double foot stomp to the gut. Again, pulling Johnny up to one knee. Front face lock lifting him up. Vertical suplex onto the floor. Kind of nervous he might have put Johnny through the table right there. Johnny rolling Blade back into the ring. And again, picking up that sledgehammer. Alexa not taking the not taking the hint though. <laughs> Referee pulling the sledgehammer out of Johnny's hands. And Blade with a big right hand. And now driving the shoulders into the midsection, dropping Johnny to the floor. Looks like he's oh man! Back. Blade pulling he's Johnny back to his feet. Johnny breaking the hold. Big right hand to the ribs, lifting Blade up. No, Blade reverses. German hey, suplex man. from Blade, and Johnny wisely rolling out of the ring, getting away from danger. Johnny again looking under the ring. This time he's got a bat. I don't think Johnny's really in. Again, Alexa, Alexa a little slow to take the hand. The referee again takes the bat away from Graves and a nice elbow to the skull from Blade. And again, Johnny rolling out of the ring, looking to build some separation again. He's got his hands on that sledgehammer. Nope, puts it down. Nope, Johnny going to the top rope. What's he got in mind here? Nope. I guess he didn't have anything in mind. Hey, this thing could end in the Again, count. Johnny leaving the ring. Kind of seems like Johnny is not really interested I mean, in fighting Baron Blade right now. Together, Johnny might be a little bit upset at the fact that he's even in a match against Baron like Blade because he really before. doesn't seem to have any interest in fighting him. Johnny back to the top rope again. This time, oh, shotgun drop kick. Pulling Blade back to his feet. Lifting him up onto his shoulders. Could this be that big neck breaker we've seen? Yes, it is. And Baron Blade is down and Baron Blade is hurt. Johnny measuring Blade, stalking him. Waiting for him to get to his feet. But Baron Blade, okay, finally he's moving. Dragging himself to the ropes. Big kick to the ribs from Graves. And a stomp to the ribs now as Blade backs up, measures. And another curb stomp. This is not where another to be curb this stomp. You said it, Michael. This is absolutely Graves, not what's he got in mind here? What's he got in mind John, here? And I really thought we were gonna stomp see to the back. From him here tonight. Grabs hold of Blade. It's another blade with the sit-down jawbreaker. If he keeps up this pace, Johnny slipping out of the body slam. Big forearm to the back. Whips Blade into the corner. Oh, misses the big right hand. Blade lifting Johnny up. Oh, my God. 
God, and that was his finisher. I don't know what that was, but that, I believe that was Blade's finisher. One, two, and Johnny kicks out just before the three count. The resiliency of Johnny Graves and Blade is getting pumped up in the corner. He knows that he has Johnny's number. He knows that he is in control of this matchup. But Johnny blocks the right hand. Big right hand of his own. Kicks Blade in the stomach. Hits the ropes. And another curb stomp. Another curb stomp. And Johnny now tuning up the band. Begging Blade to get to his feet. Johnny moves in. Silencer. Silencer and Johnny with the cover. One, two, three. Johnny Graves defeats Baron Blade on SmackDown. Four and a half stars. Taking a look at the replay, we see the big right hand there from Graves. Not sure why that's a there then. The big elbow drop to the top of the skull. Here was a curb stomp Johnny hit earlier in the night. Whipping Blade into the corner. That was definitely a beautiful highlight. Oh, I guess, oh, this is this is where Blade hits his finisher, lifting Johnny up onto his shoulder, and then just driving him to the canvas. Johnny would manage to kick out, though, at two. As you see, Alexa, she's concerned over there. The silencer from Graves, and that was the end of Baron Blade as the referee counts one, two, and three. Graves is your winner. Putting together a nice little win streak here. Beat John Cena at, at Battleground. Now he's beating Baron Blade. And now what's Johnny doing? What's Johnny doing now? Careful what you wish for. They can get real ugly outside the ring. And these Johnny guys are real ugly. Clearly not done with Baron Blade as he gets his hands on that baseball bat and drives it into the ribs. And again, a third time, a fourth time, Johnny Graves wearing Blade out with that baseball bat. How much bat. damage did that do? Graves to the apron. The and a senton from the apron. Someone's got to get out of here. Someone's going to stop this. Johnny Graves is looking to right end now. Baron Blade's career. And now he's going up to the top rope. What's he going to do? What's Johnny going to do? Elbow drop right to the heart from the top rope Boy, to the floor. Really Johnny Graves sending a message to the WWE locker room. Four and a half stars, instant classic. Relationship change with Baron Blade is obviously Baron Blade took exception to not only losing to Johnny, but then just getting assaulted after the match. We did not put on a five star match, but whatever. All right, taking a look at the rest of the cards. Zack Ryder beats Kane. Tyson Kidd beats Stardust. Sheamus beats Dolph sure Ziggler. Cesaro beats Mark Henry. And now, following his big win at Battleground, following his big win earlier against Baron Blade, Johnny Graves is coming to the ring, and we are going to hear what the Sin City Saint has to say. He obviously has something on his chest that he needs to needs to release, he needs to let the WWE Universe know what he's thinking, what he's feeling, what his plans are for the future. This is all speculation, of course. Since I was a kid, I had a dream to be the WWE Champion. I clawed and pushed my way to get here, and I did it on my own. I'm not here to make friends. I don't care about any of you or anyone in the locker room. I'm doing all of this for me. Johnny Graves, strong words. I'm not sure if it comes as a big surprise. He's, he's made it pretty obvious that he doesn't care about the fans or anyone else in the locker room. I'm not sure who exactly I have to prove myself to around here, but I do know what I need to do. I need to come out here, lay down a challenge, and show you people what a real contender looks like. Graves obviously, obviously has somebody in mind. Somebody that he's, he's looking to, to, beat the hell out of 
Add another name to the list. He's a liar, he's a cheater, and he's the biggest politician backstage. But I'm not out here to throw around accusations. I'm out here for a confrontation. You see, I'm talking about Dean Ambrose. I want him to come out right now so we can address everything that's been going on in the back. No more hiding. Let's do this. Will Dean Ambrose come out? Will Dean Ambrose answer the challenge? No. No, Dean Ambrose says, I'm the United States champion. I don't know who Johnny Graves is. I'm busy right now. Just a Fine. bully. If you want to hide from me rather than accept your fate, then so be it. But there will come a time where you and I will come face to face, and I guarantee you that you won't like what happens. These fans, they seem to, they seem to like the fact that Graves is out here calling out the United States champion. All right, last word. Poking the bear. That's just fine, because what a better time for a coward to show his true colors than in this city. It's the safe haven of cowards. You can boo me all you want, but I'm just speaking the truth. Just like I did out here tonight, and there's not a damn thing anyone can do about it. Again, Johnny insulting the crowd, but they like it. Some of these crowds like to be verbally abused. I, I've realized this. Some of these, some of these, uh, some of these crowds are massacres. It doesn't get any better than this, does it, Michael? As you see, the, the fans cheering. They're clapping and cheering and kind of looks like Johnny is enjoying being cheered instead of booed for once. It's kind of like, what the hell? What are, you guys, what are you guys doing? I'm supposed to be the bad guy, remember? Oh well, might as well raise your hands, play to the crowd. Not much you can do about it. Taking a look at the rest of the car, Finn Balor wins a fatal four-way. Triple H defeats Randy Orton. And in the main event, Seth Rollins beats Dean Ambrose. All right, your relationship with Dean Ambrose has reached its worst. We are now officially, so Johnny calls out Ambrose. Ambrose does not answer the challenge, but we are still in a rivalry with the United States champion, Dean Ambrose. That's exactly what Johnny wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. So good on us. Anyway, man, that's it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and I will see y'all in episode 24. Four. Yeah. When we take on Seth Rollins. Peace.